this class we discuss about complex power and power factor consider a single phase network we can represent voltage and current in exponential form let v is equal to modulus of v into e power j alpha and i is equal to modulus of i into e power j beta this is a reference axis this is voltage this is current the angle between reference axis and voltage is alpha the angle between reference axis and current is beta therefore angle between voltage and current is alpha minus beta s is called as complex power that is equal to p plus jq or p minus jq here s is equal to v into i that is equal to modulus of v into e power j alpha modulus of i into e power j beta that is equal to modulus of e into modulus of i into e power j alpha plus beta here this is alpha minus beta i can write s is equal to v into i conjugate v is equal to v into e power j alpha i conjugate is equal to modulus of i into e power minus j beta therefore complex for s is equal to modulus of v into modulus of i into e power j alpha minus beta i can write s is equal to modulus of v into modulus of i into cos alpha minus beta plus j into modulus of v into modulus of i into sin alpha minus beta alpha minus beta is equal to theta therefore s is equal to modulus of v into modulus of i into cos theta plus j into modulus of v into modulus of i into sin theta this term is p this term is q therefore complex for s is equal to p plus j q here q is positive when alpha minus beta is positive that means v leads i the second case this is reference axis this is voltage this is current the angle between reference axis and the current is beta the angle between reference axis and voltage is alpha therefore angle between voltage and current is beta minus alpha i can write v conjugate i v conjugate is modulus of e into e power minus j alpha i is modulus of e into e power j beta that is equal to modulus of e into modulus of i into e power minus j alpha minus beta therefore complex for s is equal to modulus of e into modulus of i into cos alpha minus beta minus j into modulus of e into modulus of i into sin alpha minus beta alpha minus beta is equal to theta therefore complex for s is equal to modulus of e into modulus of i into cos theta minus j into modulus of e into modulus of i into sin theta this term is p this term is q therefore s is equal to p minus j q here q is negative when alpha minus beta is negative that means v lacks i the magnitude of s magnitude of s is equal to root of p square plus q square is termed as apparent power the rating of alternators and the transformers are in apparent power either in kva or in mva which is a direct indication of heating of machine which determines the rating of machines here p plus jq the load is inductive p minus jq the load is capacitive s is equal to complex power v into i conjugate indicates inductive load v conjugate i indicates capacitive load this is a concept of complex power it is difficult to predict the load variation accurately in an electric power system the loads present in a system are motor 70 percentage heating and lighting 25 percentage and electronic devices 5 percentage heating load maintains constant resistance with voltage change and hence the power varies with the voltage square lighting load independent of frequency and power consumed varies as v to the power of 1.6 rather than v square we know that real power p is equal to v into i into cos theta reactive power q is equal to v into i into sin theta ohms law i is equal to v by z cos theta is equal to r by z sin theta is equal to x by z z is equal to root of r square plus xl square 
xl is equal to 2 pi into f into l therefore l power p is equal to v square into r divided by r square plus 2 pi fl the whole square reactive power q is equal to v square into 2 pi f into l divided by r square plus 2 pi fl the whole square it is clear p and q increases as the square of voltage magnitude but increasing frequency real power decreases whereas reactive power increases the next topic is power factor in ac circuit there is generally a phase difference between voltage and current the ratio of active power to the volt amperes in an ac circuit is defined as the power factor power factor is equal to active power divided by apparent power this is power triangle s is a apparent power p is a real power q is a reactive power apparent power s is equal to v into i here cos theta is equal to p by s sin theta is equal to q by s therefore real power p is equal to s into cos theta that is equal to v into i into cos theta or vi cos theta reactive power q is equal to s into sin theta that is equal to vi sin theta therefore power factor is equal to p by s that is equal to vi cos theta divided by vi that is equal to cos theta the term cos theta is called as power factor of the circuit or the cosine of angle between voltage and current in an ac circuit is known as power factor the angle theta is called as power factor angle this is impedance triangle this is r this is x this is z cos theta is equal to r by z this is voltage triangle this is vr this is vl this is v cos theta is equal to vr by v therefore power factor is equal to p by s r r by z r v r by v the maximum value of power factor is equal to 1 power factor for a purely resistive circuit cos 0 is equal to 1 power factor for a purely inductive circuit cos 90 is equal to 0 power factor for a purely capacitive circuit cos minus 90 is equal to 0 power consumed in a purely resistive circuit v into i into 1 that is equal to vi power consumed in a purely inductive circuit vi into 0 that is equal to 0 power consumed in a purely capacitive circuit vi into 0 that is equal to 0 lagging or leading with a numerical value of power factor to signify whether the current lags or leads the voltage. If the circuit has a power factor of 0.6 and current lags the voltage, we can write power factor as 0.6 lagging. Sometimes power factor is expressed as a percentage. Thus 0.6 lagging power factor may be expressed as 60 percentage when theta is equal to 0 cos 0 is equal to 1 therefore real power p is equal to apparent power s that means the whole of apparent power drawn by the circuit is being utilized by it if power factor is equal to 50 percentage or 0.5 that means that it will utilize only 50 percentage of the apparent power thus power factor of a circuit is a measure of its effectiveness in utilizing the apparent power drawn by it the greater the power factor of a circuit the greater is the ability to utilize the apparent power that is the significance of power factor with this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.